Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, hey, After Breath so easy, but I still lose sometimes because I'm bad cat. You cannot be up here. Stop making this video like a parody of itself. Okay, we got Continuum. We got uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. More like Dad's Season Scrolls. AKA Salt, Pepper, Paprika, a Touch of Oregano, and a Rosemary Sprig. KFV8 W62C. Don't deny it. Dads love Rosemary. Rosemary? They're minerals, Marie? Either way, it's really, it's still weird to be playing, oh my god, cat. Get, you're not invited up to the desk. The desk is where computers sit. Are you a computer? No, your brain's the size of a freaking Capri Sun pack. That is your fault, Ruka. That damage is your fault, and don't you forget it. If you jump on that computer, don't you jump on that computer, cat. That computer is not for, oh my god. You know what, mister? You just lost room privileges. Get out of here. You did that to yourself. Tomo, you're being a good boy. You can stay. Okay, we've done one room in a minute and eight seconds. So far, so good. Uh, Monstro's Lung, fantastic. I'll take that as a reward for dealing with insolent feline companions. Um, it's still surreal to be playing Afterbirth, as weird as that sounds. And... Anti-birth, you know, it's taking all the glory right now, but we got to keep our fundamentals strong. It's like we're a Magic the Gathering player, and like, you know, everybody's talking about, Ooh, the new standard set, the new standard set, and you're like, damn dog, I still got to save up and get these Mox Opals for my Legacy deck. You know, there's still, we're playing the Vintage format right now, and that's okay, because soon there's going to be new items for us as well. Maybe we're playing both right now, we're playing a lot of Isaac right now, which is actually really nice. For a couple of reasons. One is, honestly, Isaac is still some of the most fun I have recording videos. Oh my god, this damage. So, to have an excuse to play more Isaac is always awesome. What is it? Mr. Boom? At least I got him. The Ragman actually could kill us, embarrassingly enough. Um, so yeah, any excuse I have to play more Isaac is awesome. But then beyond that, like, it's a good practice for ramping up for the amount of content I'm probably going to make when Afterbirth Plus is actually, like, out-out, which is... Oh, you spawned too many! This is too many spiders to exist. We can't die. I like Monstro's Lung too much, and it shows up too rarely for us to die here. I'm sorry to tell you that I... This isn't how I go! No, those will not reach me. There we go. Um, yeah, you know, you never know. How many videos? We're making three a day right now between anti-birth and afterbirth. Who knows when, uh... Take it, take it. One makes you small. That's not so bad. Um, when afterbirth plus comes out, maybe we go up to four. I don't know, two and two? Three and one? We'll see. Either way, we don't need to worry about that too much right now. Thankfully, we've maintained a better donation machine here than we've maintained in, uh... Our anti-birth save, so I can pick this up and kind of kill two birds with one stone, but like it would be awesome if I just played less like shit on the next floor. What would make that a little bit easier for me is picking up a, uh, a tears upgrade. But apart from that, we're not really uh, sweating it too, too much right now, to be honest with you. I mean, we gotta be into the last, uh, like, few afterbirth episodes right now, before afterbirth plus comes out. Like, oh, I really thought that we had threaded the needle. I'm trying to think, like, I'm recording this on Thursday, so this episode's gonna come out Friday. That means we need a Saturday, Sunday, Monday episode, and I guess there probably won't be a Tuesday episode, because I'll just try to get an Afterbirth Plus one done as soon as the game unlocks on Steam, assuming it is devoid of, uh, you know, launch problems, and we'll have a good time playing it with one another. That was a, uh, that was a relic pickup right there. I know there's gonna be a new character, maybe two new characters, I can't recall. Again, it's not like I can let anything slip. I actually know, if I'm being honest, I probably know less about Afterbirth Plus than the average person watching this video. Sometimes there's a conspiracy like, you know, Ed and Tyrone must be feeding you builds. They might be feeding some people builds for testing, but, you know, we're, we're on media blackout right now. They ain't tell us anything. They don't want us to spoil the surprise, I suppose. And you know what? They're creators. I can respect that. I'm looking forward to discovering it for myself anyway. Hopefully we can find, uh, discover a bomb for ourselves. Shoot the whoop. I don't know what that was. Um, hopefully we can discover a bomb for ourselves so that we can actually 
get that tinted rock because I could really use small rock right now a tears upgrade is more important because um, we don't just use monster as long as damage we kind of use it to push enemies back and protect ourselves as well and the charge time is quite long but DPS you know is, is good no matter what form it takes so if you want to give me why do we was that perspective that allowed us to shoot over that rock like technically we're we're literally like lobbing our shots over top of it and they're not colliding with it I'll take what I can get here Stay back. We know we're going to get a deal with the devil. In true Afterbirth fashion, if this is a typical Afterbirth run, um, we sh Wow. Good jump. Wow! If this is a typical Afterbirth run, this deal with the devil is going to be pretty indicative of our chances to win overall. I totally forgot. With Continuum, we might be able to do some funky stuff as well. Um, like, for example, these guys over here. I don't want to deal with these dudes. What if we just do this? Nope, we don't have the range. <laughs> Alright, but in theory, you know you know what I was getting at there, you know. Why take the stairs when I've got a perfectly good canoe? I can shoot through the right side of the screen instead. Alright, tears upgrades, please. Spelunker's hat, not necessarily bad. Not, it, probably below the expected value for an item room, maybe? It would be close. But as long as it's not like, you know, I, Isaac's very feast or famine in the sense that, um... Usually, an item tends to be awesome or horrible. And then there's a few that exist in the middle ground, but this is one of the ones that exists in the middle ground, weirdly enough. So, as much as this kind of looks like trash, uh, I think that Ringworm is actually great uh, in many ways right now, because it seems to increase our shot speed and thus our effective range. So, we're going to miss a lot of shots that we probably otherwise wouldn't. Yeah, that's the worst dodge, dude. Uh, we got Book of Shadows, I think. But then, at the same time, the ability to... Oh, nice nice shot right there. The ability to hit enemies up close is... Uh, or, or from far away is is quite valuable as well. So, we'll take our cube of meat here. Not DPS, but that's what the deal with the devil is for. And... Yeah, why not? L let's go balls to the wall here a little bit. We're going to take the flies. We're going to take... Can be in conception, and I mean, we could buy a bomb, but I don't really care, so I'm just gonna head downwards and, and save our key for the item room guarantee here, rather than getting a tinted rock. But admittedly, tinted rocks, you know, also valuable as well. I wish there were more scenarios in which these worm trinkets were like takeable for reasons other than just being absurd. Like, that's, I think, a really m modest improvement that could be made in an Afterbirth Plus mod, if not in the game itself, is. You know, zany items, make them slightly better, so there's a reason to take them beyond just being silly. Like, the only reason I take some items is to be silly. I'm, I'm of the opinion, more or less, that Strange Attractor is actually completely worthless. Um, if not for the fact that you're just trying to entertain people. Like, Strange Attractor will kill you on a lot, on a lot of runs. On the runs where it doesn't kill you, the best case scenario is that it's like pretty much useless. Lockdown grade. Tomo, if you jump up on that computer, I will feel betrayed to a degree that you probably cannot comprehend if I'm being honest with you. I just kicked Rook out of here for jumping on that. You want to go? You can go. Just don't jump on the computer. I'm not going to be sore about it. Get out of here. All right. But yeah, like um, like Strange Attractor, I think could use like a damage upgrade or something like that, or or maybe like uh, the slowing effect on enemies, or you know, I think there's various different axes you could deal with it there. I know that the game is probably considered too easy, but I'm hesitant. <sighs> it's a tough call here. I'm hesitant to uh, to nerf good items because I do think that that runs the risk of like not not that I could do this you know I'm not saying that this is <laughs> my definitive mod that everybody will be playing will be no 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 I'm not saying that but uh, in from a, a standpoint if we're just talking about hypotheticals I don't think it makes sense to just nerf a lot of good items we were talking today on the the stream like maybe turning Guppy into a progressive transformation like cube of meat would be cool. So, like, you know, one cube of meat, you get cube of meat. Two, you get the f shots fired. Three, you get the familiar. And four, the familiar becomes, like, extra powerful. Um, what if, like, for Guppy, three Guppy items gave you the ability to fly, and four gave you the ability to spawn flies? Like, that... Guppy shows up so often that uh, I think that that wouldn't be that much of a detractor. And, you know, the, the flight is still valuable enough in and of itself. It does make it probably a little less... 
incentivized to pick up something like Guppy's hairball when you have no other Guppy items, but you know, it, maybe that's a good thing. Or maybe Guppy's hairball is still valid and, and you would still consider it, but um, a lot of people in chat, and this is a valid opinion, were like, don't nerf things. Like, the game is fine as is, just introduce items that are fun. And I, I understand that perspective as well. I'm just gonna continue moving on here. Uh, trying to get maybe another deal with the devil. We're, we're doing fine on time. Monstro's Lung does have, or at least our Monstro's Lung right now, has a bit of a range problem, but... Range is one of those things that is normally pretty much useless. Like, range ups are pretty much useless. So now, maybe there's... It's kind of a weird way to think of it, but maybe some items that would previously be considered pretty bad are actually okay now. I can see forever. I actually like it right now, um, because we don't want to use our bombs for secret rooms, really. I'd rather use them for tinted rocks, if possible. Um, but we'll go back and check the secret room... I've already been to one of them. Ah, we, we don't need to check it right now. Let's just go fight the boss. But yeah, I mean, again, I'm not in charge of the, the balancing decisions for the game. I'm mostly just spitballing. I think a nerf to the Guppy transformation is not necessarily bad. Like, making it so that on three items, you don't get super powerful. On four, you get to existing Guppy. And, like, let's say you got five. Damn, son. Like, you're stacked up now. I think that could be cool. So... We actually could take um, Satanic Bible here if we wanted, but I really like Guppy's. Uh, I really like Guppy's head, so I think we'll just abstain from that. Um, even though Satanic Bible obviously can be really good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we'll we'll reap the rewards at least. Um, Empty Vessel is is awesome. I mean, we shouldn't have even taken the HP when we left because it compromised our ability to fly. But we'll, I'm confident we'll find a way out of it regardless. But Empty Vessel actually working for us is really good. But I, I'm interested in that kind of that that design of like making items that are bad, or at least items that are that have a fun concept to them, making them better as like actual things worth taking. So items, oh, that was so bad. Items that. Like, Strange Attractor is one of them. Tiny Planet's another one. I know Tiny Planet has, like, a, a tears upgrade associated with it, so it's not necessarily ugh, all bad as is. That's pretty good, but I'm going to go a little further here to try to shoot the moon. That's also okay. That's worse than the last two. That's also not great. Sure, we'll, we'll do it once. It's sensible to do it once. No transformations. Um... And we got Tiny Planet, but we also got Lusty Blood, so I'm into that. And Epiphora. I don't know, Epiphora plus Tiny Planet might actually be fairly uh, doable here. I don't know, though. We'll see. Anyway. Um, yeah, so like giving... Basically, right now, experienced Isaac players come across Strange Attractor and they go, Fuck that, I'm not touching that at the tempo pull. I'm not even talking about Isaac's Heart. Like, Isaac's Heart, I actually think, is already fairly well-balanced. I hate it and will almost never take it, but in the rare confluence of situations, it can be game-changing. Whereas, you know, Strange Attractor, you're like, well, if you got Ludo and absurdly high damage, you might like Strange Attractor, sure. Um, if I got Ludo and absurdly high damage, though, I don't need Strange Attractor. So we're on the Caves 2. Now, um, I would say markedly behind schedule. That's okay. Our rate of fire is actually relatively not good. Um, but my thought was like, with Epiphora, as long as we just continue shooting in the same direction, we're pretty direction agnostic. Like, if I shoot to the right, I shoot to the left, it doesn't really matter because our tiers rotate. So I'm hopeful that we can actually glean some sort of bonus out of this. Um, but to be honest with you, that doesn't really appear to be the case. Like, I, I don't seem to be benefiting disproportionately from the existence of Epiphora right now, so... Uh, I will say Lusty Blood is awesome, and it's a it's an interesting run right now. Great? No, not necessarily. In fact, I think it's going to be fairly ridiculously slow for a while here, but but I think it has the don't shoot. That was that was bad. Uh, I think it has the tools to become great pretty soon, but we'll see how things go. Um, Sure, you know what? I would love Shoop to Whoop here. I would, I'll, I mean, I say I would, but what I mean to say is I will probably just continue to reroll pretty uh, religiously here. So in six rooms, I would expect that this run looks completely different anyway. Um, I'm really just waiting on a, 
Kidney Stone, and that allows us to do quite a lot of damage, and also get the damage from uh, Lusty Blood amped up in the interim period. So we'll probably take that, but first, I want to reroll. And in fact, maybe we won't take that. Maybe we'll reroll in there so we can get uh, a new item. We're getting low on HP, so it would pay to be a little bit more prudent. We only have three more rooms to do, and there is a Tinted Rock available, which is awesome. And we do have a bomb, amazingly. So we got our spirit hearts there, which is going to keep us alive for two rooms, unless we're, like, actually garbage, which is debatable. <laughs> there have been times where I have been fairly bad. We have an item room as well, so I guess we'll see what we'd rather reroll. I would like to get rid of the D100, because it's... Honestly, it's a crutch, and it makes runs surprisingly samey, despite the perceived absurdity of it, but... We'll see what we'd rather reroll. Yeah, I should not have stood there. So God's Flesh is worth taking, I think. Which means we should reroll uh, the Shoop to Whoop and stick with D100? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We could use getting rid of Bob's brain. Sure, let's reroll Shoop, Shoop to Whoop. We got the shears, which I think is fine. As long as this run's acceptable. Which, it seems interesting at the very least. We got pyro. Um, not special bombs, but pyro. The shears. Uh, bigger shots, so Papula Duplex. Dead Onion. Dark Bomb. Fire Mine's always dangerous, but this is relatively good, I would say. And we'll just stick with that and try to make a run work. I think it's more interesting to try to make a weird run work than to just re-roll until you've got, like, the easiest run of all time. It's not that bad, because, you know, you can re-roll into a run that's fairly unique and novel in its own right. But, uh... I think that this is a, a superior way to do it, in my opinion. We stomped him right away, so we're going to get through there pretty quick. I would like nine lives on the subject of getting, like, ridiculously overpowered. I'd still like a range upgrade. Halo's actually really, really good. Um, but I want a range upgrade because, like, I can barely shoot enemies right now. They're so far away. When it works, it works, though. Um, and we're not going to worry too much about boss rush right now. We're about two minutes behind schedule. This late, that's pretty much the kiss of death. So we're just going to... Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, come on. Because I know y'all be loving this shit right here. L-I-M-P uh, biz quick is right here. So if you need quick pancakes, put your hands in the air. Because if you don't care, then we don't care. It's turned, you know, rolling into an ad for instant pancake mix. Well, yeah, biz quick isn't for pancakes. It's for biscuits. That's my mista rookie mistake, honestly. You can use that in your ramshackle, you know, homemade Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe. It's like Bisquick garlic powder and 10 pounds of cheddar cheese. Buy our own spirit heart. You know what? Sure. Let's get pay to play. I don't think it, it sets us up too much, but it's not bad. We'll open this as well. Gives you HP when you travel into a room. It's a trinket I've never really gotten um, too much value out of. But I think that there exists a set of conditions where it would be awesome. But this is certainly not it. Oh, yeah, just walk onto the spikes. Good idea. Oh, you know what? I don't think we want anything down there enough to concern ourselves with it. So we're moving upwards and onwards here. We should take the Shears Charge. We could get the chest really easily, but we can also, you know, we have 98 bombs. I think it's fairly sensible and probably advisable to just, you know, place a bomb like there and push it out yeah like that's perfect this could be a secret room as well and inside the secret room I would love balls of steel instead we get health down it's like very nearly the opposite bad trip and health up okay it's a confusing time to be me but we're gonna head down to the next floor and just be okay with where we are right now we're going to hope for some early HP that Dark Bomb doesn't steal, or he steals it and gives us something worthwhile. But certainly, yeah, we're in a fragile position right now, especially with, um, you know, Fire Mind almost works against us as much as it works for us. But where are these flies coming from, by the way? 
we have the mulligan? I'm slightly confused. Secret room with no greed, please. Alright, so far so good. I would prefer to not use the shears here, and I think it's unnecessary. Like, I think we shouldn't, at this point, our, how many times have we fought greed? We really need to use the shears to take this dude out? I doubt it. Two of diamonds is fairly great. But we're still, you know, lacking quite a lot in the HP department here. Now, ideally, I would not take any hits. But let's be real. If we're taking a hit, we have to prioritize making sure we lose the champion aggro as soon as possible. Because um, one full heart just knocks us out. Half a heart, we can still survive for a while. We got enough bombs to take a lark on this one. That wouldn't have even found it. Yeah. I didn't expect that to work, but thought maybe. So we could shears this room, if it's bad. It's like enemies are getting confused as well. If there's a tinted rock, we should shears as well. But I don't see one. Please don't explode. Thank you. Uh, might as well. Pretty fly. Lovely. Keep up the good work. I think those guys are done. I still think, you know... It's the mark of a good player how you play when you're down on HP. It's probably the mark of a better player to never find yourself in this, you know, pretty dire situation to begin with. But how you play when you get to this uh, this level of HP consistently and whether or not you give yourself uh, a vaguely Eur European accent uh, or Eastern European accent when you uh, get here it indicates the level of pressure you're willing to, you know, survive under. No tinted rocks, huh? I'm not losing another Afterbirth run this close to, you know, Afterbirth's plus release. Afterbirth plus is release. There we go. But, you know, like, would it kill you to give me a single red heart? Like, we've done, like, eight rooms on this floor. There we go. That's the ticket. Um, easy play here, honestly. Deal with the devil chance should be, like, near zero. Um, I think we should still go for it right away. Because we just want to use the shears and then fuck off, basically. And as long as the shears... Yeah, wow. It actually destroyed there. We still want to take advantage of our shop, for sure. And we have store credit for, for that exact purpose. Okay, Magic Mush helps out a lot. That's probably the last time we're going to find ourselves in that tough of a position, is my guess. Um, and that's great news, I suppose. Game is bailing us out in... Uh, Pretty ridiculous fashion right now, which I'm very appreciative of, because I think I, I got a little bit off rails early. I mean, part of it, not to, not to def deflect uh, blame for the situation we're in right now. However, part of it is that I didn't stick with the D100. I willfully chose to dispose of the D100 in order to make this run more interesting, and because I love the shears. It's not like we got rid of, you know, a 10 out of 10 item for a 0. It's like a 10 out of 10 for a, a different variant of 10. But, uh... The D100 is a safer item for us to take, as weird as that may sound, because it's very... It's hard to lose with it. It's pretty easy to reroll into a loss, but the odds of you rerolling out of it are also quite high. Unless you somehow reroll into, like, 0 HP and you're hurting yourself on the regular. So we're just moving along here. Quite slowly, but moving along nonetheless. Right? Probably try to stand further back in the future. I mean, the ghost was on fire, so I would have expected it to die. I'd also expect there to be an item room and shop on this floor, but apparently that was very naive of me. How did you get so fast? Sugar, how'd you get so fast? I don't know that song well enough to riff on it that well, but maybe I can get a few chuckles out of just knowing it exists. Got to know when these enemies are about to pop, too. It's advantageous. You can really benefit from Guppy's Tail right now with pay-to-play as well. Um, so we get a free item. That's Nun's Habit. I think you paid... We might as well have done that first, but it's fairly inconsequential. We don't benefit from Tear Detonator, but we do like the virus. Yes, we do. Uh, I think we use a battery charge to get Luckfoot back, and then we just head down. Like, life's good right now. Like, use our charge to get Luckfoot and a battery, and then go. We can also use two bombs, both of which are, like, 
draining nearly infinite resources, so it's not like it's a sincere problem right now. Just crack into that, grab that, grab that, and uh, move along here. Certainly a much better position than we were in on the last floor, and maybe even a solid deal with the Devil Chance. You know, turn this into your average afterbirth run, grab Guppy, and uh, live our lives. Right, we can't fly yet. It feels weird to be this slow. Like, in anti-birth, this is the norm. You're like, 22 minutes, caves one? Okay, sure. Uh, but in, in afterbirth, you're like, come on! I should be faster than this already. Uh, it was all worth it for the luck upgrade, as long as we don't die, I think. And keep in mind, you know, it's amazing to me that we got no red hearts on the last floor. Not just for, you know, the purposes of healing ourselves, but also we have Dark Bum. Kind of benefits from red hearts, in case you've never used this item before. It's a pretty, like, prerequisite part of Dark Bum, is the whole red hearts thing. Maybe we should just let this guy get cracking on this room. God, I hate... <laughs> I hate you. Fire mind. But Firemind is an example of an item that I think is fairly well designed. It's got a downside and it's got an upside. Leaving a fire on the ground is fairly noteworthy um, in terms of dealing damage, especially to bosses who stay in the same place or who are likely to travel over the fire. So, uh, mostly it's just my badness that's that's leading to some problems here. Algis. Uh, okay, you know what? This seems like a great time to use Algis. Almost certainly get a payout from Demon Judgment. I'd like a syringe. I'd take Sin Robes. You know, I'd take Succubus. This is a great item, no doubt. Second Secret Room finally gives us a bunch of red hearts. I think we should take two and let the uh, let Dark Bomb get the others. I'd say that worked out pretty well. So we have four Spirit Hearts and we got nearly back to full red hearts. Um, throw a bomb down here. Throw a bomb for free. Throw a bomb down, Tomo. And please don't vomit. Please don't vomit on my PC. Can't hit that. Let's be honest. I'm not ashamed of not hitting that note. We all knew that note was not getting hit. We both knew this was a one-way trip. Pulled into Ryan's room. I was a feeling like a kitty cat. Mm, just a little bit hungry because my brother Ruka's kind of fan. Dad bought the weight control cable to counteract that. But as the slimmer kitty cat, I'm hungry and blat blat ba doop boop 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 boop. All right, sadly we had the greed fight there. So we won't be able to donate. Cat, did I offend you with my singing voice? You've already left me? Just like everybody else. Oh god, my my hard drive's about to stop. It's it's almost full. Okay. Computer. Computer, stop this. OBS recordings. Delete. Delete all these old Planet Coaster episodes. We can do it in time. Yes. Start computer. 8 gigabytes free. We did it, chat. It's a perfect 10. I can't believe it. Thank you, uh, Windows Explorer, for giving me that indicator that we were getting low on disk space. It's because I record on... Oh, I shouldn't even be taking this yet, but... It's because I record on my solid-state drive, and... You know, this computer is getting to the end of its lifespan, so I don't really want to... Clean the hard drive out to the point... Like... It's a fairly small hard drive as far as solid states go in this day and age. It's got Steam games on them. We play on the NLSS all the time so that they load in an economical fashion. Like, there are, there are reasons for the low hard drive space, but I, I try to check it before every recording session to make sure there's enough. This time I just forgot, but... And we solved it on the fly. And sugar solved it on the fly. Oh, obviously you gotta, you know, go, go big or go home on this one. We can even give up some spirit hearts because the pact uh, is gonna hook us up regardless. Uh, apparently that won't be necessary. Wow, Mom's bottle of pills for a completely needless health up that I should have waited to take. Um, but we'll take the pacts and move along. This is a great situation. DPS is good. DPS is great, even. Um, range is still really bad. But we're killing enemies fast enough that it's fairly unlikely to matter, except if they die next to us. It creates an issue. Small rock, please. Ooh. All right, 
damage is ridiculous now. But if you could placate me, perhaps by giving me like just the slightest little, just saying like a, maybe a slight range upgrade could be interesting. And by interesting, I mostly mean pretty not interesting, but it would save me some trouble. So if you would be so kind as to, that would be okay. Some uh, US Americans don't even have maps. And, um, Algiers. Not the rune I'm looking for. I mean, we're in full on like Algiers country right now, but. And by Algiers, I mean Yera. If we can make Yera happen, then beautiful. And if not, well, then, you know, stay off my property. But I, we, we can get some value out of Algiers. You never know. Maybe there's another Demon Judgment that takes, you know, 15 plays to pay out. Succubus is doing great work as well. Kind of been uh, underappreciating Succubus on this run, I think. It showed up from that Demon Judgment, and I haven't really been like, wow, what a great item. Did I just get, like, mainlined by that, uh... By that bomb fly? That's embarrassing. You know what? We're not doing rooms we don't want to do. We've reached that level in our Isaac career, on this run specifically. I don't know, if you're gonna bomb me out of a room, I don't want to be on the room. Unless it leads to a boss. Dead ends? Nah, I don't even get out of bed for a dead end this day and age. Um, some of those pills might be good, but... Some of them might also be range downgrades or speed downgrades. Some of the only things that could really, you know, induce a loss at this point. Uh, I'd take the luck upgrade over the Liberty Cap. I value luck. In my, in my advanced Isaac age, you know, luck is important. No deal with the devil. We could get the ability to fly. I think we just per throw it, though. Probably save the guys for the next floor. Yeah, sure, we got a range upgrade and a luck upgrade. Two things that I am both... You know, fairly happy about. And we could Degas here. But honestly, Degas is probably like one of the... I don't know. It, it's a top 10 rune. Doesn't beat Perthro, unfortunately for it. But, you know, being able to purge a Curse of the Unknown or something like that can be really, really valuable uh, if you're a little unsure of your HP. Now, on the run that we've gotten, we got two all stats upgrades and a lot of, like, good deals with the Devil that... Coincidentally, we're also borderline free because we got them from Demon Judgment, so uh, I'm feeling like we're, that's probably overkill for us. Unlikely to matter too much, but um, still, it's it's the thought that counts. Don't even need the Spirit Hearts, but we'll keep taking the keys. You never know. We might be able to somehow luck our way into like two Yara runes. To actually, to be honest with you, this is a decent hush opportunity. Two Perthro runes. <laughs> um, it's a decent hush opportunity. You got a lot of HP, a lot of money. Come on, there we go. But I don't really want to, like my damage is not such that I like would be happy about it. But actually, on paper, our damage is like the perfect kind of damage for Hush. Really low rate of fire um, with high DPS. But I think the Shears is going to fuck it up a little bit. So I'm just going to use Shears here and, and not go to the Hush fight. It's not about being a pussy. It's like, you know, Stephen Hawking doesn't write the SATs, right? He's already gone through the grind. He's already proven himself. Any university is going to let him into any undergrad program he wants to get to. But he doesn't want to because he's already, he's a super grad. It's more like, in this... Why well, take Demon Baby? That's a perfect reroll situation, but... Um, we're like, we're so set that to do the Hush fight in a way that is not fun for us holds no value, implicit or extrinsic. Those are two sides of different coins, but you get the idea. I have We've earned the luxury, I think, of only fighting Hush when it matters. Do you think, like... I was gonna say, do you think I've fought Hush more than like any other Isaac player on Earth? The answer is probably no. But you gotta think like, of the subset of people who have played Isaac, the amount of people who have played like over 1500 hours is a smaller cut. And then the amount of people who are, you know, at least is somewhat incentivized to fight the Hush for the entertainment of others or like the enjoyment they have themselves is probably even lower than that, so. I mean, I gotta be up there in, like, the, the top 100 most frequently fighting Hush motherfuckers on the planet, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a day off here, if you don't mind. 
But you know who has uh, more hush fights than me? Probably really good daily players. Because a hush is heavily incentivized on the daily. I, don't, I guess there was maybe a fly in there that I blew up. I'm not sure. I do have to stop taking damage. I've not really been holding it down on the don't be an idiot front. So let's stop just getting screwed here. But I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm up there. Most people who play Isaac at this point, they're like, knock out the Hush stuff, never fight his ass again. And I 100% understand and increasingly sympathize with that line of reasoning. I'm also probably in the top 10% for most uh, self-damage taken. Most, uh, most consumables left on the ground. Like, there's a lot of dubious categories I could, uh, I might rank in as well. Please. Stay away. Succubus is doing, like, all the damage and I'm taking all the credit. Give me my guppy dream. Like, first off, it's the only one I got. But also, I think we've earned it. Magician. Two of diamonds. Fair oh, I... I'm not happy with myself at this point. This is like an easy room, though, at this point. As long as we have the necessary wherewithal to stay away from these enemies as they explode. Dead Onion is actually, like, awesome for dealing with these guys. I think that Fire Mind is, like, one of the many items... Well, one of the... <laughs> when I said many, what I meant was few. It's like... One of the items that has destroyed the most winning runs of mine. Why not, right? Maybe we actually absolutely need it, based on the fact that I've been taking so much idiotic damage lately. I will say... First off, that's bullshit. You shoot a rock, the rock explodes. I resent that when you have items that explode, you can only shoot horizontally and not vertically, or you're going to get caught in the explosion. Assuming the enemy's standing in the halfway point. It's just like, you know, they don't have quadrilateral symmetry on these rooms. They're rectangles instead of squares. And as a result, we have to exploit the fact that they're wider than they are tall. But it's, at this point, I should know better. I know, rest assured. If there's one thing that I, I hope under, underpins like every Isaac episode I've ever done is that I recognize that I'm an idiot. And at the same time, I do have criticism from time to time. Mostly born out of the saltiness that I you know, gradually accumulate as a run goes onwards. Probably should have taken that rune. Let's just assume it wasn't Yera for my own mental health and Curse of the Unknown again. All right. Cricket's head, lovely. Eight inch nails, lovely. Attack fly, totally fine. D4, why? Why though? Why? Okay, we've re-rolled. We got Fungi for HP. Range is just horrible. Um, but we like all of these items. This could be Beelzebub. This is going to be better damage. We have Isaac's Heart, which scares the shit out of me. I'm taking the D4. Like, I assume that our damage is going to be fairly good. Oh, good! We got Strange Attractor, too. Really appreciate that. Hopefully, we re-rolled into not horrible HP. I know we got Fungi for some extra HP, but, like... Hopefully, somehow, our HP got, like, filled in the process as well. This run is kind of garbage. Yera does nothing for us right now, but that could change. God damn you, Isaac's heart. Battery charge. Thank you. No, no, we're not pressing that. Battery charge. Thank you. What do we got now? The Mind, Holy Mantle, Polyphemus, du Double Mom's Knife. Uh, it's a little bit better, I'd say. Yeah. Um, oh, Turdy Touch with Holy Mantle as well. So just, like, amazing, huh? Um, this is the right way to go. Fuck it. I, uh, I have testicles. I want you to know that. So what am I going to do with said testicles? I'm going to reroll on the boss room. I'm going to reroll past the point of no return. Um, but we're going to get into the boss room first, just in case our reroll in advance is so garbage that it doesn't make it plausible for me to get inside. We got the Seraphim transformation and Ludo shielded tears with Holy Mantle and we're creating shots on occasion that are doing some weird stuff and this is very strange my own shots are exploding from time to time we have fruitcake we have fruitcake that explains that our shots are 
growing and sinking in size at an alarming rate, and sometimes they just target different enemies, but we have won in spite of ourselves. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.